also there has been uh, that allegation against state BJP uh, President Imna Along. The NSC and IM had issued a statement not to vote for him for his constituency, sir. Is the BJP going to take any action on this? I I personally believe that <coughs> NSC and IM will not interfere directly or indirectly in a state election. So whatever has been seen, we are seeing it in the newspaper or in media. I think that it may not be correct. So uh, my hands will be that NSCN will be neutral and they, I don't think they have anything to do with the election. I, I have occasion to interact with the NSCN leadership in various occasions. I found them completely politically neutral. So that is why I think that we should not give too much importance on that later. We should believe on the leadership of NSCN. RPI has said that the uh, BJP, the NDA, the center is the ally of, of them. RPI, the Republican Party of India. No, you just said LJP is not I, your uh, friend. But what about the RPI? In Nagaland, uh -huh. we do not have any friendship with RPI. We do not have any friendship with LJP. We do not have any friendship with <coughs> NCP, LJP, RPI. Nobody else. Only two parties in alliance, NDDP and BJP. Nadaji has come. He said that. Amit Shah ji has come. He said that. I am saying it all the time. And tomorrow, Prime Minister will repeat that again. Usually, this uh, clash or the crime that has taken place in the name of election. It is not fair and I had uh, condemned the yesterday incident, kidnap and uh, killing. I condemn, I had tweeted condemning that. And it should not happen in this manner. It is very unfortunate. Law will take its own course. And I hope and I appeal to the people, the voters, that we should have a peaceful election and allow people to vote uh, the mandate of individuals. Our combination NDPP and BGP will get uh, absolute uh, majority and there is no doubt about it. BJP said that they won't go for the uh, debate that the BJP challenged the Congress. Now the BJP according to reports said that they will not be going for the debate against the Congress. With the manifesto. I think one needs to understand that the Congress party is making a mockery of political processes. Their entire campaign is based on disinformation and abuse. They have no presence on the ground. They have all sorts of conditions that you want to comply with. The Congress party is living in the past and living. A, they are a legend in their own mind. They have nothing to do with political reality. They have nothing to do with the people of Nagaland. And therefore, the BJP and the NDPP are focused on implementing the vision for development of Prime Minister Modi under the leadership of Chief Minister Rio. We are seriously working. Yeah. The Congress can do its games in no, the media. The BJP challenged the Congress. The Congress accepted the challenge. And now the BJP is not taking the challenge. Perhaps you should have also heard what the Congress party's conditions were. Regarding the border issue in the Mapo 3 constituency, uh, we see quite a few of that. Ma'am, are you prepared to take on that issue at the forefront yes yes of uh, see um now that i'm in the the political space and um, as as a leader i think it's my duty to make sure that those issues are also taken care of but at this point of time i don't want to comment on that but yes that's an issue we have to make sure that because at the end of everything uh, it's not not necessarily about the border it's about the people there so my duty is to take care of my people to make sure that um, everything is settled in the uh, in a good way yeah um, this is uh, probably one of your last major campaign before the big day, 27th of Feb. So, do you have anything to tell Dimapur 3 constituency? I or just in Nagaland as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of violence happening. As well. uh, yes, so, so that, that is sad. For me, to be very honest, I am a mother. And even contesting this election, I prayed and I'm starting this journey. And for a, for a mother, it's important that... Um, the youth because it's when you talk about violence it's more about you know charging young people to just get aggressive and that's really warning me especially in the Mapur 3 um, I want um, I really want a peaceful election even in my constituency so I want to appeal to all my uh, people in the Mapur, uh, the Mapur 3 whether it's from my party or from the other uh, other parties that um, you know get um, getting into violence is not going to solve anything 
you know so please it's an important day it's a very very important day people have taken this probably very lightly i've said this in the past also people think election is a game so they think it's like you know it's a game that you you enjoy and you do every type of thing that is out of the, uh, the the rule books but uh, it's a very powerful day it's a very important day for all the voters so you should everyone above the age of 18 should really get out of your bed get out of your house go and vote because this decides your future uh, from day one we know the opposing the opposition they have been that's that's been their nature especially my uh, Doyapur Dansri Bar belt. Uh, there have always been a lot of muscle power uh, used in the past and I've been telling my people that this time for me it doesn't matter. This is democracy. You can't force anyone to vote for me or for anyone. But they should not fear. That's, that's all I want. The people should come out without fear. They should not be threatened. They've been living in fear for too long. And yes, um, of course, we don't want to make it an issue. We have condemned it. But I want to really make sure that my people are safe and they go out fearlessly to go and vote. Uh, we have also discussed with the, um, the government to make sure that uh, those areas are you know, climbed as um, sensitive areas and we want to make sure that they come out fearlessly and vote. Yeah.